welcome back guys so we are at part 2 of our azure deployment course and in this course we are going to install the rest dependencies one by one so at the last video we have successfully installed php and before that if you can check sudo mysql anyone can easily enter and access through it right so we have to secure our mysql so as you can check i am in my another documentation let me show the title of this documentation how to install and secure php my admin here you already get uh, clear documentation how you can secure your mysql so you have to enter your inside the mysql first so let's do it and now this enter here you can check the root is no access no authentication string right there is no authentication string inside root so you have to do this manually so copy this and enter a new tab and here you can enter the password so you can give password anything okay and select all and copy or you can just cut okay now paste it here okay so it says my password is not strong enough right so let's make it strong so let's give a large capital mixture combination yeah we have successfully make it secure so now flash privilege so let's do okay now if you can run this command again and you can check there is our authentication string inside it and you cannot easily access to mysql right now so now if you exit and enter it you can check access denied so you have to enter mysql in this way now it asks for password and yes you can enter right now okay so you have done one step also now you also have to install a php my admin so now do this but for the purpose of this video i mean the deployment we are not going to use the database in our website because this is a just a multiplication of matrix and we are not fetching any data from the database but for future purpose you can install it so let's run the apt update command again now install php my admin okay it takes time apt update why it takes time okay now you can check a blue panel not blue actually a purple it's a pink panel window open in front of you and two options apache 2 and light pd so you have to hit space to select the apache and press enter okay let it done
okay now configure the database yes now it asks for password mysql application password okay so let's give okay so i have entered the wrong password maybe okay let's go with tcp localhost port which my admin mysql application password okay now i think it's should be done let's wait hey guys so it's stuck in 99% and if when i enter control c it acts like this so now just simply try to access the php my admin and let's see if we can go through it and you can check we can let's try to ssh yes as you can check we successfully we successfully log in logged in into php my admin so we have successfully installed this without any issue uh, let's create a database also new youtube okay now let's create and you can check the database successfully created no need to save password now let's sudo mysql minus u minus b right okay let's check the command again maybe i forgot okay okay let's do it now let's give the password okay now let's show database database okay forgot to enter the semicolon i think show databases yes so you can check the new youtube is here so we are good to go and we have done every step correctly till now so now at we are very near to install all the packages we just need to check if our php is successfully installed or not so this is not looks great that the progress bar is still there so let's try to clear this exit and clear yes now it looks so great i also zoomed out okay now let's install a php file here or write a php file here let me clear one thing that we have to when we install apache a special folder structure already created this is the where and www as you can check in this folder structure where our html and php files are state if i ls here you can check a html folder already exist right so if i html there you can check the index.html is present here so this index.html is same as this one the this website code is written inside it so now let's create a new file sudo vim index.php the reason behind i put the sudo command because the server has a permission so there is many issues regarding permission 
so you get all the permission i mean read write permission when you put the sudo command behind every command so now press i and now let's now enter a php code okay put the semicolon okay i think this is enough and we also give the priority to php file first so first of all ls yes you can check the php file is present and now let's refresh this page as you can check the php 7.2 is successfully installed to our server right so if i paste the code in this here in this folder we successfully get our project right but we should not do that we have to create a separate folder like we are going to multiply right so let's create a directory multiply that's enough and now let's go to okay okay sorry let's see d mkdir let me fix I have created okay my bad okay let's fix this yes here we should paste the code but now the question is how we should paste we will use FTP the file transfer protocol so till now we have successfully installed all the dependencies and now let's ftp to server so for this let's exit from the or no need to exit just minimize ok now let's create a host file in this section we are going to create a host files i mean what are the changes required in the server so as you can check the matrix and dist this section should be removed okay okay but one thing never ever do this with your real project right always make a copy so this copy is going to be our hosted file so in the desktop section I have created a folder as well and where I paste this thing ok now let's name it as post file or anything you want ok now let's open it with code now we need to change all the directory with absolute address thanks to VS code that we can do it in one click now as you can check form action so let's do this ok great and I think no need to change anything more the assets here are the CSS created by Tailwind so let's include the CSS properly I think we have done it assets yeah I think it should work so let's FTP now for this install filezilla FTP client here it asks for the host ok now open chrome again and copy the ip but hey guys the video length is going to be long so we are going to ftp into the server in the next part and deploy the required files appropriately so stay tuned Till then subscribe and stay safe.